uh, pretty amazing. Already feeling a lot stronger. Only been doing this about eh, a little over a week, I do believe, using the box. But, oh man, thank you for the reminder. And I'm not used to it because usually I'm using a box in the gym and you're not allowed to go barefoot in the gym as you all know. But last week, I forget your name, I'm sorry, you did comment and said, hey Seth, you should try those exercises on the box, those movements without shoes. And I love that idea. I'll probably do a mixture, especially in the winter time, I'll have to wear shoes at, at certain points. But uh, if it's 70, 30, like 70% 70 70 of the time without shoes, 30% of the time with shoes, I think that'll be a good split because when you, have, when you have shoes on, you know, the shoes are absorbing some of the little teeny tiny, what we're talking about with what we wish we could see with Kipchoge, but the tiny movements that we do as runners with our feet especially. Uh, all those little tiny, tiny muscles inside our feet that we're engaging on a, on a greater basis uh, without shoes on. Now at the same time though, depending on your, you know, where you're racing, what surface you're racing on, what types of trails you're racing on, I think getting used to your feet in those racing shoes and the movements on this box can help with that to a certain extent. But I love the thought, so I'm going barefoot today. Left leg, it's weak, but it's coming back. In case you missed the vlog last week, the reason I'm doing this box outside my car before a walk or a run, especially when my mileage is high, is that I get tired. So doing these movements and exercises after three, four, five hours out on the trails, it's challenging. So I wanna put this at the beginning of the day rather than halfway or toward the end of the day. So that's what we're doing. We've talked about this so many times. I mean, so many running injuries are connected to the hips and glutes. It's, it's incredible. I mean, when you have a soft tissue injury, not always, but a lot, a lot of times it's connected to something around your waist. So I, not only are we trying to strengthen here, we're also trying to increase our range of motion with these uh, box movements and exercises that I'm beginning to integrate. 5 a.m., baby, let's go. For this one, we're sliding down our toe on the box as slow as possible. Ah, and then explode back up. But right now, that left leg is not having an explosive movement. Ooh, that's all right, that's why we're doing this. Get that explosion back. Ah, feel it in the hip, especially the hip flexor. incredible what three and a half weeks on crutches can do to a leg. I can't believe how how much I lost but it's just part of the deal. Uh, uh, I want to keep going. Actually got to get off to a meeting. We're not done yet though. More details on the feet. Whew. Let's go. Now it's about four hours later, and I tell you what, I can feel that hip flexor getting worked. It feels tired, that's a good thing. Okay, and I have not forgotten, and thank you so much. Again, just looking for 
that accountability. That's what we do here on this channel. So it's Carlos Lopes. There's his, uh, there's his cover, or at least the, the inside big story. I think this is an original article. I'm gonna keep this forever. So it's about a gentleman from Portugal who I didn't even know about this. And that's where the, the collective DGR story sharing down in the comments is so powerful. I really had never heard of his name until about a month ago. He's, he was 37 when he won the Olympic marathon in Los Angeles. I had no clue, and I'm 37, so it's very applicable as far as just, you know, staying focused, doing the little things. That's what I'm gonna do right now. So thank you, Ann, for sending this. In case anybody's, anybody's interested in learning more about uh, Carlos's story, uh, definitely look him up. He's amazing, and that's why I'm doing these little things. Right. So what I'm doing right now, earlier it was the bigger muscle groups, but, Hold me accountable. I'll do my best to do the same for you down in the comments, on Strava, on Discord, wherever it might be. I said a month ago, I think it was maybe six weeks ago, I said from the ground up, I've got to rebuild after these, you know, back-to-back -back injuries, the hamstring and then the sacrum. So I got to rebuild from the grit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Little teeny tiny muscles in the feet. Sooner rather than later, I'll make a full video all about these uh, muscle groups and <laughs> muscle groups, teeny tiny muscles in the feet that need to be engaged, need to be strengthened for me, especially since I've had plantar fasciitis in the past, uh, to make sure we're, we're avoiding injuries in the future, but especially for that big mountain running when I'm up on my toes for, you know, 3,000, 4,000 straight vertical feet, or in the case of Pikes Peak, 7,000 vertical feet up to the top of the mountain because you're in that up on your toe position for for just so long. Caitlin, you get it. Comment of the day. I completed my first marathon August 29th. Congrats, Caitlin, and earned that medal. The four months of training was the cake and the race itself was just the icing on top. I wouldn't have had it any other way. No reward is worth it unless you put in the work. Congrats, Caitlin. That was from yesterday, everybody, talking about there's no shortcuts in long distance running. We got to put in the work. So that's what I'm doing out here, uh, prancing around on, on my toes, trying to strengthen those feet, all right? Trying to rebuild from the ground up. And that question of the day, a little detail. What's, what's the most recent little detail that you have added or changed to your training? The most recent, and you know, maybe it's a month ago, maybe it was last week, maybe it was today. Uh, that would be awesome just to get your thoughts on that. Onward and upward, of course, we'll toss it to, uh, man, I get, you know what, we'll do, um, we'll do uh, I guess, a discussion about strength training and discussion about how to overcome little injuries right there, right there, right there. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.